What's going on everybody? How you doing? And welcome back to your fifth C++ tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be going over something called functions. Now there are two really main types of functions. The first type is functions that we write, we create ourselves, And we're going to be talking about those, you know, in a couple tutorials from now. But in this tutorial what I want to talk about is functions that are already built in to C++ that we can use. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, you know start writing some code. Go ahead and make a variable double A and I know that you guys are used to int but I'm gonna switch to double. Double is pretty much real numbers. Um, they allow you, unlike integers, we are now allowed to use decimal points like 87.2 and you know it doesn't have to be just whole integers like int we can now use you know uh, decimal points that's the main thing you gotta worry about so anyways start using double instead of int because you'll see later on so now that we have a blank variable called a let's go ahead and take that and set it equal to this sqrt and write two parentheses and in those parentheses write any number you want like 154 pretty cool huh so we're saying alright what the heck is this squirt 154 WTF mofo no what this is is the square root function this is already built into C++ and what it does is it takes the number 154 gets the square root of it and stores it in the value of a or excuse me in the variable a so now we can just go ahead and output that on the screen and it should print out whatever that value is the square root of 154 which should be like 12 point something so let's go ahead and do this and we're gonna get an error and I'll tell you why we get an error right here and I know you guys can't see the error method or excuse me the error uh, message but it says square root undeclared first use in this function this is because whenever our program came across this SQRT, it didn't know what the heck we were trying to do. What's it like? Are you trying to set A equal to the letters SQRT and then a parenthesis? And what the heck are you trying to do here? That's because we need to include something called a function header. Now, the header file lets C know what SQRT is and lets it know that it's actual an actual function and we're not trying to set it equal to you know just some random letters and in order to do that we need to do this include C math and once we include C math this gives us access to all the mathematical functions we can use so now that this is included in our program whenever we come across this line of code right here it knows that it's not just four random letters and some parentheses it knows that this is a mathematical function and it's to be treated as such. So now if we go ahead and run this, we're going to get an actual program 12.4097. Hmm, have to remember that. So what it did is did this. It took 154, found the square root of it and stored it in the variable a and then we just printed out a. Now for your terminology. Whenever you use a function, it's called calling a function. So whenever I'm talking, I say, all right, let's go ahead and call this. You know, I don't mean like on my cell phone or anything. I mean, let's go ahead and use this. I'll probably use them interchangeably. So, you know, just bear with me here. But that's the technical term. So if you're ever, you know, interviewing for a job, say call a function. Whenever you take that value, whatever value you get back, in this case, 12.4097. Oh, I remembered it, I think it's called its return value so 154 is the number you want to figure out what the square root of but 12.4 that's the return value that's the value we stored in a so again calling a function return value the last couple things we need to go over is this number you put inside the parentheses this is called the parameter now a parameter is any information that the function needs in order to work so you know it needs a number to be square rooted so we pass in 154 and throwing a number in there is called passing in a number and again that it's called the parameter or passing in a value you know 
once I use it in context, you guys will see later on, they're kind of like the same thing. So, now that we got all the terminology down, uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make another program actually. So you need to include this anytime you use the square root function, and that's not only square root function. You get another set of functions, you know, built in with this. By the way, I don't know if I said this already, but this include IO stream. This allows us to use the you know C in C out uh, functions method. I mean, not methods. That's from another computer language that I've been uh, using. But anyways, enough for me ram rambling. Let's go ahead and create another program. So let's go ahead and make another double number and also double answer. And let's go ahead and allow the user to enter a number. And then we will calculate the square root of that and then print it out for them. So how do we make the user enter information? C in and then whatever number they enter is going to be stored in the variable number and now let's go ahead and take that number find the square root of it and store it in the variable answer so answer equals sqrt of number so whatever number they entered we're gonna get the square root of it and that's the return value the answer and we're gonna store that return value in our variable answer so now all I have to do is print out answer C out answer and let's go ahead and end that line so now this should work as long as I didn't spell anything wrong so let's go ahead and enter you know 54 press enter the square root of that is 7.34847 handy bit of information you might want to hold on to that so that was a uh, breathtaking tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So that's pretty much the basics of everything we learned so far. Variables, C in, C out, and also pre-built functions. So again, what function is is pretty much a built-in, I don't know, you guys can see for yourself. It performs an equation or it does something else for you automatically. It saves you a lot of trouble. So these are ways you can use built-in functions in C++ in in the upcoming tutorials, like I said, there are also ways we can create our very own functions, which is uh, a lot more fun, actually. So uh, that's what you guys have to look forward to in the next couple tutorials, and also hearing my beautiful voice. So don't forget, you have to uh, have that to look forward to. And you know what else you have to look forward to? All this source code for you guys for free on my forum. Click the link below, sign up, leave me a couple messages, tell me how awesome I am, and go ahead and get it for free. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys later.